So, hello. Uh, been a bit of a while, but we're going to be doing something different today. So this is an update, okay? So, a few things. I haven't been really here because I've been doing my um, Class 2 driving and CPC. Because I'm after a new job, to be honest. So I thought, well, I'm going to go and do that. Uh, also, I've, I've got my Class 1 in a couple of months, a five-day course. Hopefully I'll pass that and then I'm going to get a job driving then. Um, uh, we've only got a month and a half left on the Rooster Rome. It's not bad. Adam's got most of the bits he needs. I think I've got pretty much everything I need now. Um, can't think of it much more I need. I like say we've got all the stickers nearly on it. We're just waiting for the stickers from Rooster Rome to turn up. So today I've decided to buy myself another car. I've been looking for a few months. Now, at the moment I'm using my XJR for work and I have a 32, round, 32 mile round trip every day. Now, the problem with that is um, I'm clocking up miles like terrible in it. When I bought the XJR, it done 68,000 miles. Now it's done 86,000 miles. But I want to keep this car a few years because it's, it's, you know, I wanted it for so long in my life that I don't really want to like clock loads of miles up. And you know, when, they, when they've done a lot of miles, they get, everything starts getting a bit past it on them, even the paintwork, everything, don't they? Um, so what I've decided to do is get myself a cheap runaround just to go to work and that, and you know what I mean? But I don't really like little cars, I'll be quite honest. I think they're a bit rubbish. <laughs> um, honestly, that's really what I think they are, a bit rubbish. So today we're going on an adventure, yeah? So I've decided I want to give my XJR, after I've done the Rust Rome, this car probably be gone, and I'm going to put the XJR in here and just use it as a Saturday car, Sunday, when it's nice weather. Now the problem I have is, okay, I can't really, I'll be honest, I can't afford to buy another Jaguar and run it because if you own a Jaguar, like some of you do, you know that they're all expensive. I mean, everything on it is expensive. Tires, petrol, ev everything's expensive. I can have one, but I can't have like three or four. So we're going for a cheap runaround car. Now, because I don't like little cars, for me, personally, there's not a lot of choice, yeah? If someone shows me a Vauxhall Corsa, yeah, it might be a good car, but I don't like it, all right? To me, it's just a bit rubbish. The only little car I like is a Mini, yeah? Because I used to have the classic Mini. Oh, I did it once and I liked that. And I've always liked the newer one. But now we're after a car here that's like 2003. All right, that's what we're going to look at today anyway. It's done 88,000 miles. It's black with a white roof with the white stripes and the bonnet. Now I want a black one or a dark blue and I wanted the white roof preferably. So we're gonna go and have a look at it today. Now it's near London. So I'm getting on the train, because unfortunately normally I drive to these places, but I can't drive today. Oh dear. But I can't drive today, because um, how am I going to get it back? Well, you'll go again, you know. So I paid £38 for a train ticket one way uh, to go to London. Then it's, you've got to change at St Pancras and go, I don't know, St Pancras or whatever it is, and then go the other way. So we're going to see. Yeah? I've not, I haven't used public transport for years, so this might be a bit of an adventure even for me. We could end up in Scotland or something. But anyway, so we're going to go have a look at this black mini. And I'm going to try and film a bit in the garage at it. But I don't know if I'll get away with that because garages don't always like you filming. Um, and like I say, it's only 1,500 quid. It looks all right from the photographs, but everything looks good from the photographs. So we're going to have a look. And if it's good, I'm going to buy it and bring it back. And that's going to be my runaround car. Because I did look at the figures, you know, if I use it for work... I actually save myself £125 a month on petrol alone, right, Cons compared with the XJR, which is quite a lot of money, isn't it? And plus, I'm not clocking the miles up in the XJR. If I get the XJR really, you know, nice and pristine and all that sort of thing, you can leave it in the garage when it's wet or it's snowing or it's icy. You can just leave it in the garage and use it in the nice summer weather, like now, if you know what I mean. So like I say, it is my favourite car. I just don't want to sort of like ruin it taking it to work every day because this is the one i've always wanted and like i say after rust to rome's done i probably won't keep this one it might just be used for that and this one's a bit different if this sat outside it's not quite like the xjr is it but um we'll see like so we're gonna sort it out this mini might be a load of rubbish isn't it? so when i get to london i'm leaving here at 10 past 10 and then i've got a half hour wait there look at king's cross then go saint pancras and then um um, where are we going then? Radlett, that's where we're going. I couldn't even remember myself, and that's not a very good thing, is it? Sorry, the sun's a bit bright this morning. 
So we go to Radlett, that's where this car's at. So it's not in London, but it's sort of like not far from it. So uh, let's see how we get on. So I decided to buy the Mini. Um, I'm about a quarter of the way back, so it's not bad. I'll uh, show it properly when I'm done. Um, it's done 90,000 miles and 72. Uh, it's grubby as anything, it's dirty. I'll show you the filth when we get back. Um, but yeah, I think for a work car, just going A to B, actually I think it's all right. Because it only cost me 50 pound to fill it up from the red light. So uh, yeah, it's not bad. So um, I'm about 45 minutes from home. So I'm back home now. So I couldn't film near the garage. And to be honest, I couldn't really park anywhere either. I sort of hopped straight back on the A1 and came back from London. But um, there it is. So let me give you a close-up of some of the bits that want attention, yeah? Well, let me put this way as well. Hang on, another thing to add. We did get back, no issues at all. No warning lights, nothing. It went nice, actually. Um, but like I say, this is literally just my sort of commuter car. I've never had a commuter car. So this is it. Now, I don't like to say I don't like many little cars, but the Mini is the one I like. Out of all of them, it is only the Mini, really. <laughs> um, I've got, I've got a black one with a white roof because it's like classic looking. So uh, I'll show you some of the things that are slightly not quite... Well, I'm not happy with them anyway. First off is the cleanliness of it. So let me show you around. Oh, I've locked it. Hang on. Bear with me. I can't even find a key now. Oh, dear. So the central locking all works. I don't think that's quite accurate. That's coming straight off. That's a bit do-goodery, isn't it? So yeah, like I say, it's a bit grubby. It's not been, needs one hell of a valet. That's something that's a bit rubbish, I think. Um, I'm going inside. There's some scratches that I'll have to get out. So, it's not too bad. Um, I want to show you like the dirt. Ugh. Oh, it's just oh look at that! It's just filth, isn't it? So like I said, we give it a good valet. Um, probably clean the seats and access half leather. Um, like I say, lots of black to black on there. So it's gone, but then you know, 2003, it's a 90,000 miles. Now there's only a couple of dents and some scratches near that door anymore. Um, there's a couple of little trolley dents on it. But no, I'm not too worried about those. There's only a couple of bad bits. There's no real marks on the back, but that back light. There's a little trolley dent there. And the worst one is there. But look, for standing, you can't really see them, to be honest. So yeah, that's that's what you get. So in the end, this car cost me £1,300. It was up to 15 But for a commuter car to work, I don't think I can knock it, really. So I would be honest, I do like going out in my Jag the most, you know, I, I, I did miss it a bit, even when I drove this, I thought it's not quite the Jag, but with the thing with the Jag is, I, I can use it when it's nice weather, you know, and keep it tip top. That's the thing, I, I, and I want to keep that tip top, it's like my baby. But uh, yeah, so, not bad. Quite happy with that. So I, I might um, clean it up and then bring you the that in this video, sorry. So I'll give it a quick polish all over. We've got some of the dirt out the edges. So I don't think it's cleaned up bad to be honest. Looks alright. I've still got to do the inside. Um, yeah, I don't think it's bad really, you know. Good. So it's now all polished. I've done it inside the doors, but I haven't done the inside the boot and inside the bonnet though yet. But it's a bit better. I've just got to put, I've just leather, done the leather, but I've just got to put some of this uh, shampoo on the cloth because I think it will come up a lot better. I've hoovered it out. It's now much cleaner, yeah? Much cleaner. 
was pretty disgusting before, wasn't it? But yeah, we're getting there. Now, a few things we've found. I found 5p. You always find stuff in cars. So, so I, I don't know what, but every second-hand car I've ever owned, I've found stuff in it. So I found five pence and a Tom Tom case. Um, shame the Tom Tom's not in it, but uh, we got the case for it anyway. Um, yeah, we haven't got one of those, but yeah, it's not bad. Um, like I say, I've got a couple of bits I need to order, so I'm going to get a new the back light. It's always that's broken, and a badge for the bonnet because it's all gone a bit. Well, the black bit's gone. Um, yeah, I don't think too bad. Not bad, considering I only bought it less than 12 hours ago. I've polished it, hoovered it, waxed it. I've done everything. But like I said, I've still got to do inside the engine bay, and I've still got to do inside the boot, because it's really bad. And inside the filler cap, it needs a good scrub, really. But, um, yeah, at least it looks more presentable now. Good. So that's it from me. So you've had a day with me. Off to buy a Mini. Yeah, not Jag this time, or... Uh, bang a rally car or anything, but uh, a mini for everyday work. Yeah, but well, I think it looks quite cool. Yeah, we'll do for an everyday car. Um, but yeah, so that means now I can get the Jag Immaculate. Yeah, because it'll be perfect now. Because now I can put it after Rust to Rome, I can put it in the garage, you see, when that Rust to Rome car's gone. I might even swap it over yet next week, but that can go in the garage. And then we can use that on the nice weekends and. This will be the daily runabout. I can't believe it. I've never had a car in my life where you put like, it only, it, it does over 40 miles per gallon. I've never had a car do above 30, I don't think. Wow. But anyway, so that's it from me this time. Uh, I'll see you all very soon with a new video. And thanks for subscribing. Keep liking the videos and see you very soon.